going on reefing familia this is another two for one tm march special here in the frag box thank you for tuning in to the channel let's do the intro we haven't done that in a while hope you like that intro get used to it we're gonna start using it i like that intro you guys like the intro Question, I think they hate it, I know. Yeah. Too bad, they love us though. Yeah. yeah, so you gotta put up with our intro. Okay, what are we talking about? Look at Tia, she's so cute with her little notes. Way, way more organized than I will ever be in my entire life. Bring your notes, Heather. Let's go talk to our, our fans, our familia. Um, the clams, sidetrack of the day, not even sidetrack, marches, shame, shameless uh, pork clams. They're up on the site, they ain't gonna last. Hurry up, grab them. I put six on there, uh, I think only two are left. They're going quick, yep, very, very fast, but that's not today's video. Today's video is what? Beesma worms or Christmas tree rods. What did you call them? They're Beesma worms. Beesma, oh, should we do white light for these? Fridays? I think, I feel it, like it's we- It's brown Friday. No, but I think it's gonna show off- um, The worms color? Yeah. You just, they all went away because you're too close. Okay, to I'm gonna move really, really slowly, but today we are talking about Christmas tree worm rocks. Yeah, these are pretty cool and pretty rare. We don't get them quite often, and yeah, if you like them, grab them, because these ain't going to last, that's for sure. Um, what do we know about them? See, we didn't know a lot. No, so Tia went out. Show her uh -huh. the notes. Look what she wrote here. This is cute. Sexy time <laughs> for reproduction. <laughs> um, yeah. There's a lot about the reproduction. Okay, actually. so what are they? Let's start. I'll ask you a question. I'm going to interview you, and we'll see how good your, your research abilities were. Keep in mind, everything we got is from the web. Right? It's from the web. We are yeah. not um, Christmas Science. tree. We're not scientists. scientists yeah. No, no. We're, we're the furthest thing <laughs> we're from just scientists. To every place that we read into one for you guys. That's it. Let's do our trusty Apex. If you don't have an Apex, go out and get an aquarium controller because this thing is awesome. Feed mode is going to turn off our flow. We tried selling three things already. That's enough. What? What did I try and sell? Christmas tree rugs, apex, and clams. Is that it? <laughs> is it my limit? Video. No, these I'm not Mark trying just to sell. Cut off from advertising. <laughs> I will not try and sell you anything else. These things sell themselves. That's true. Yeah. Yeah, they're pretty sweet. So it's not a coral, or it is a coral. It's part. It it's, kind of a coral. Our specific ones are parietes, uh, and they have. I kind of remember the word for. It's not symbiotic. It's not parasitic, but they have um, a beneficial Bene relationship oh, on the worm side. They're friends with benefits. They're friends with benefits. <laughs> Yeah. This is the nicest one, I think, that orange one. Oh, I'm gonna do oh, it. There's one that lives here. That's really Look. cool. Oh, <laughs> it's so cool. Great, I gotta do one. Yeah. Very nice. There's lots. Okay, so <laughs> the parietes is growing on the outside of the rock. Is that the idea? It is. And the worms are, uh, they kind of land there when they're young mm -hmm. in their larval stage, and then they, they sit and they wait and they create a calcium structure. Using sand, actually, they digest sand very and neatly. Do they burrow through the rock? They are not capable of burrowing through the rock. They oh. create their calcium structure, and then parietes go, or whatever corals, Cypatria, Montefiore. So grows yeah, on top. I thought they were always found in parietes, but I was wrong. What is yeah. it? They're Could commonly found in parietes, sometimes found on Montefiore, and sometimes Cypatria. But commonly parietes. Mm, yeah, so that's, that's what you're gonna see. Really. Which is a hard, a hard coral. SPS. Yeah, Easy S SPS, but SPS nonetheless. Encrusting SPS? Yep. So really you're trying to keep, if you want to keep these in one of your tank, what are you doing? You're trying to keep the worms alive? You're trying to keep the parietes alive? Both actually. So the parietes you have to think about individually as well as the worms because parietes is photosynthetic, but mm. the worms themselves are, they're an invertebrate. They're not photosynthetic like a photosynthetic coral would be. Mm -hmm. So you have to have high flow, high uh, highlight like the lower end of highlight for varieties and then you also have to have good flow and uh, platonic food so that the worms can be fed so what are we feeding them let's say if someone at home wants to keep these like phytoplankton reefoids is excellent it's like a blend of marine plankton live phyto um, let's see I, if you can, if you can, uh, oh, we don't have doesn't matter she said i'm not allowed to try and sell you anything else anyways but oh <laughs> uh, look at the fish preferable. get the shit out of here what are they doing they're trying um, to eat off the rock. They are. Actually, good segue. Fish, some fish will nip at it. March said angelfish. Yeah. Good. Some wrasses, definitely, because wrasses love eating invertebrates. I could definitely see some wrasses 
picking on these hard, yeah. Getting right in there. I yep. wonder, maybe you've been a coral bandit? No, um, a copper band? I wonder if you try to eat them. Yeah, but I guess they retract, right? They're going to pull right back in as soon as something comes near to them. They do. Cool word for you. So they do have uh, something called an operculum. Op operculum, I hope I'm saying that right. Um, but it's their little trap door thing that, that is, they have to hide themselves It's kind of like a snail, in. right? Yeah, absolutely. This one is so cool. On the side here, the orange and white. Yeah. Amazing. Um, this is about all the colors you typically see. I think we're missing green, right? I yeah. think I've seen green uh, ones in the past. Well, there's one dark green one right there. Yeah, but aren't there sometimes like limey sort of green ones? I really like the blue and orange ones, so I don't remember if there's green ones. Because I always look at the orange and so blue ones. So if you ones. attach it, attach, sorry, if you put this in your tank close to the, your rock, it, will they transfer from here, like, onto so your main structure? Only if they breed, and they breed by, um, like, broadcast spawning. So Sexy time. Sexy time, yeah. yeah. So you have to have male and female, so they do have a gender. Some are hermaphroditic. The hobbyist isn't going to be able to know that, so you have to just kind of hope that your tank has both male and female, and for some reason they decide to breed in your tank, which is not, it doesn't happen. Has anyone, question <laughs> of the day, I don't think a lot of people keep these to begin with, but have you, do you know of anyone? Heard of anyone? Heard of anyone? Any chance of having these breed in your tank? I don't yeah. think the answer is going to be yes because even for us these are quite rare we don't well up until now Tia did all this research but up until now we didn't know <laughs> a, whole uh, lot. a whole lot yeah we just yeah. for the last hour spent time on well she did i'm just holding the camera but spent time <laughs> on google and and trying to learn about them so we can better inform people um when they take them home so what's the key to success if someone wants to keep one of these long term think about the worm and the, the coral that they're on individually um so you have to accommodate both of them light flow food um, it's like two animals in one. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. And if anyone knows the word that I'm that we're missing, that symbiotic, but kind of not, not. Like I feel like the Parides is maybe only getting food out of it, but that's only in the aquarium mm -hmm. hobby. What else do you so, know to say here? Yes. The spark notes. Oh, back to yeah. They use the the tidal changes in the wild to spawn, which is kind of cool. Like they use the waves. Mm. Is it tidal? Yeah, tidal changes. Oh, tidal changes, yeah. yeah. I wonder why they don't spawn in captivity. Well, a lot of corals don't. It's pretty rare. Yeah, Parides does. Kind of cool. I've only ever had one coral um, actually spawn, and it was torch coral. Torch? Many, many years yeah. ago. I have no idea why, but I ended up on the <laughs> A crate with like hundreds of little, little itty bitty bitty torches. And a friend of ours locally that runs a wholesale operation, same thing. Um, he says he knows how he got it to do it. I'm not sure. I don't know. If, if anyone knows how to get torch to, to spawn you, it's sitting on a, a lottery ticket there. I imagine it's it's lighting and food availability. It's all about the moon. It's something about the moon. Yeah. It's all it, everything comes back to the moon. Hmm. That's it, I guess. What else can yeah. we tell people? Oh, do not dip this coral. Oh, because we the invert will die. So the beast worm will die if you dip the varieties. We should rock. have started with that. Absolutely, do don't dip it. <laughs> don't dip it. Just like the clams I tried to sell you earlier, don't, don't dip, dip those. Don't dip those. Yeah, don't dip. They're not coral. This one is coral and invert. But if you dip inverts, they are gonna die. That is the point of dip. So then, don't you take like you said earlier before we started the video? You kind of take, take a, a, risk. a little yeah. bit of a risk because you're adding a rock. Yeah. without dipping it into your tank yeah but so, i think it's worth the risk it's worth the risk and you're gonna get cool so zoom in on this guy there's actually a type a of what is that uh, her um it's like a hermit but he stays in the empty holes of oh, the worm. oh come out buddy can we feed him um we can try maybe. this is a very cool part about the hobby is like weird stuff like this stuff you don't see every day we had i think seven or eight somebody locally mike Grabbed um, three right away, scooped them right on up. These run $250 Canadian. I don't know what that works out to in the US if someone wants to do the math for us. But I think they're cheaper elsewhere. For some reason, they're, they're not cheap to get in Canada. Canada, everything's expensive because, because of Justin Trudeau. I'm just kidding. We love Justin. Some of us do. I hope everyone voted yesterday. Anyways, it not not, doesn't matter. matter. We're not here to talk politics. We're here to talk Christmas tree. Worm rocks. Tia's just over there grabbing some. What are you grabbing? Rayfroids. See if we can uh, elicit a little bit of a feeding response. And I promise, 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 one day I'm gonna buy a gimbal, and then maybe someone can send me an email and tell me what to buy because I'm not the um, clearly 
not the most um, savvy when it comes to camera equipment. Okay. You decided that we're getting a gimbal? We need a gimbal. Yeah, that's enough Absolutely. is enough. That's it. This is a real channel. We got 10,000 subscribers. Time for a gimbal. We need the flow. We need the flow? Too bad. Okay. Okay. <laughs> what are you feeding over here? Uh, this, yeah. Ooh, I guess they're just going to close, really right? Nice. Oh, they're not closing. Oh, that's not what I expected. So, um, I believe the food they, travels down their spiral. They know it's food. Yeah. Look at that. Spot feed them if you have them. I would have expected them to close. Because if that was your finger, for sure they're already in. I think this, so this is the hermit. Let's see if he eats. Oh, look at him eating. It's coming out. Oh, get out of here, tank. Oh, yeah, important note. If you're going to spot feed, try and feed your, uh, your, feed, your fish. <laughs> try feed to your feed fish. your fish first. Yeah, nice. I would have expected them all to dart back in. Yeah, like that one might have been too aggressive. Oh, look how slowly he went in. That was cool, huh? Yeah. Oh, so that one was quick, but that was the that tang oh. that irritated him. Try these ones over here. These uh, red and orange and blue ones. These are fascinating. Hope you guys are enjoying this. Let's get a thumbs up. How about a subscription? That would be nice. Like, uh, you know, subscribe to the channel. It's almost like we do a video every day. What? Almost. Crazy Canadians. Got nothing better to do up there in the north. Go away. I'm really surprised that they're not retracting. So the first ones that we fed are not retracting at all. Because hmm. we were smart and we, the tanks were, were not here yet. I think this is the nicest one, that green one. Yeah. The contrast is really sweet. Absolutely. The Parides is a little light. But the Parides is a little light, yeah. But still. So cool. I think my favorite's actually this little hermit in here. He's quite cute. You're Look always into the weird stuff. Yeah. I think that's it though, eh? Is it spot feeding? We gave him some info? Yeah, as you'll often see these little feather dusters on them. Those will reproduce on their own. Uh, I don't know too much about those ones. That will have to be for another video. Yeah. What else can we tell him? That's um, it. We gave him coral knowledge, spot feeding. Don't dip. Uh, I think we did a sidetrack of the day. Don't dip. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I think we'll wrap this video up on the mm. Christmas tree worm rocks if you want to see us do a coral spotlight on you know some other coral we have hundreds of them so just let us know if we don't have it in stock maybe you know we'll add it to our video list which is growing longer and longer i think we have like 20 or 30 videos that we want to do but you know if a coral shows up and you say hey i want to see a coral spotlight on i don't know what's something rare we don't get in like a pectinia or I don't know, something strange. That'll obviously, we'll bump that to the top. Like that sea fan. Yeah, like the gorg. Non we should be yeah, we should be. <laughs> this non photosynthetic gorgonian. I'm, I'm, how certain are we that it's non photosynthetic? It's like a thousand percent. Thousand percent. I was going to say 99. It's really cool though. You know what? I don't have the confidence to keep this thing long term. If anyone has a non photosynthetic if, tank. Yeah, there's very few guys here in Toronto. If you have a non photosynthetic tank, and um, you want a really, really nice cork, I'm gonna give you a hell of a deal because I don't wanna kill it. And if you can uh, better care for it than I can, because I don't think I'm gonna keep up with the feeding. I've never really tried to keep non-photosynthetic corals. You? One. Yeah. And what, sun never, coral? No, the spiral coral, but I couldn't find any information on it. Sun, co sun corals are fairly easy for non, sun. yeah. I know people keep them long-term. Yeah. But uh, I don't have the confidence to keep this one, but it did show up. So if you want it and you're local or you're here in Canada, I'll be happy to ship it to you. Send us an email that's fragboxcorals with an S, plural, at gmail.com. Two, two for one deal. Yeah. What, what? Look at that. I, I thought that was covered in I'm not even going to charge you for this one. Just buy this one. <laughs> and this one is a freebie. Look at that. Yeah. Help, help us help you. And we don't know the species. We're going to just call it Red Gorg, huh? Red Red Sea Fan Gorgonian. I think that's it, guys. Thank you for watching this episode of Fragbox TV and tuning in like you do every day. Oh, do you like the timing? That's where I need help. What up? Do you guys... Who's here? Oh, no, Phil. If, do you guys like the time... Or, like, when would be the best time to release the videos? So, do you prefer them in the morning? So, you can watch them, like, I don't know, on the toilet at work or <laughs> at your office? Or do you want them, you know, around 6 o'clock? I guess everyone lives in a different time zone, right? It's true. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so maybe that question is irrelevant. Maybe we should just keep dropping them around 5, 6 o'clock. Something like that. Okay, guys, thank you for watching this episode. We'll wrap it up, and we'll see you back, uh, back, back here tomorrow. Yeah. Tomorrow's another day, another video. Thanks, guys.